Tension leave the face and the jaw. Feel the neck relax. Feel the upper back and chest relax. Loosen through the shoulder and arms and hands. Relaxation into the feet, the bottoms of the feet, into the toes. Even deepen a little more. Sometime in the next minute, begin embracing horse. We'll come out of embracing horse in about five and a half minutes from now.
state of relaxation in the posture. I like that. to learn embracing horse, there's kind of always something to work on. But after a while, you might not know what you need to work on. If you wanted to, you could pick one of the eight principles of makeup. You might pick, I would just pick one, but you might pick hips to spin. You might pick toes in, knees out. body rounding, or chest concave. Maybe shoulders and elbows low. Maybe loose weights. best embracing horse, just use one of those to focus your attention. It's about 16 more seconds. Straighten the legs, lower the hands. Circle the arms up, breathe in. Push the palms down, breathe out. <clears throat> Let's do three rides of wild horse. Pick your distance, whatever. You know, your favorite or your least favorite are probably both good for you. Outside of the parallel. And begin. You might <clears throat> keep that feeling of roots from the feet into the floor. I didn't talk about it, but through relaxed feet, see if you can feel these roots connecting into the floor. You might even visualize them.
I got a question from uh, one of the online viewers, from one of the live stream viewers about um, reviewing Crossform Kick. I mean, you guys worked on that last class, right? Crossform Kick. Well, who can review me on what else you covered last time? Move on. I'm glad y'all did something. That's good. Okay. Bring it on crossform kick coming in, coming out. Yeah, okay. Because I see the end of it when I'm coming in for the class after, and sometimes I quiz head instructor Dorkin just to, just to know, but I didn't this time. Okay, but let's jump right into the review of our crossform kick. So who can name the move right for it? You're doing it. Piercing palm. Yes, yeah. good. Okay, so go ahead and get into your piercing palm position. It would be if you were to break it down, it would be your left forward, left foot forward double dragons, <clears throat> the left arm pushing out with the palm, with the fingers out of the way where you could hit with the palm, and then the right hand is just kind of under the elbow, palm down. All right, here's how we break down cross form kick. First, you just shift back. Now you're going to turn to the right and bring the left toes in a lot past the front of the room if you can, and then the left hand will end up just draped over the right. You're gonna shift to your left, you might not see much happen, but you're gonna kind of sit back and release the right heel, and really you're kind of releasing the right hip to sit back as well. In the end, before you start to pick up your knee, you wanna to try to feel like you're facing the opposite 180 degrees from where you started. So pick up your right knee, I almost said left because it's on the left side of the body at this point, but then you're going to kick and maybe touch the foot, maybe not, it's okay and go ahead and set the heel down, turn the right toes out, and that's the start of the next move. So it's really, we could break it down a little differently, but let's end it right here. Okay, let's do that a couple times. We'll talk about the punch to groin afterwards, because getting from one to the other is part of the trick here. But first, we'll keep it focused on this move, just really working on this position. So shift back, turn to your right, bring the left toes in extremely. Shift to your left, release the right heel, keep turning to the right, break the left hand over the right. Lift the right knee, reach up with your left hand without reaching down. Maybe you can touch your toe, sorry if you can't. Put the heel down, turn the right toes out, and start to shift your weight to the right. Two more times. Turn body cross form kick, shift back. Turn to your right, turn the left toes in a lot. Your left, release the right heel. Pick up the left, the right knee. Sorry. Kick, touch your toe. Put the heel down. All right, toes down. Ah, release. One more time. I still want to start with the same, but I'm just going to watch. Which usually makes the instruction go wrong. That's okay. Shift back. Turn to your right. Turn the left toes in a lot. Drape the left hand over the right. Release the right heel. Sit back. So, um, in the question, there wasn't anything specific. It was just like, can I hear the instruction over and over again? Or not over and over again. That's how I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would want. <laughs> they just said instructionally, and I said over and over. So, um, so I don't have anything specific to point out, but I'll just demonstrate it. Um, you know, I'll turn it around. Just, just because the question was from at home, maybe you want to see the other side of it. feels like reverse single width foot, but you go even farther. And then when you get that foot in, shifting to that foot, sitting, releasing the right heel, picking up the knee, and it's what we call an outside press kick. You just pick up the knee, touch it if you can without bending, put the heel down, watch you're going too far out to the side, don't shift your weight to put the heel down, turn the toes. Now shift your weight to release the other step to double drag. All right. Um, so that was my reverse. That's, that's, what we, that's what we covered with the punch to groin. Punch to groin. I covered that a lot. Cool. Um, yeah. So, from anyone who can ask a question right now because you're in the room, do you have any questions about this one? I was just trying to 
kind of relearn the uh, as the separation. Yeah, it comes down after the separation. Yeah, and it's those are details that are like, yeah, hard to get. Um, yeah, does anyone tap and then as it did the tap, I just collapse and then come up and then do it. Yeah, it's here. As you oh yeah, yeah. Don't do extra. With the yeah, arms. yeah. Don't don't, yeah. don't do extra. Very good. Very good. And then, um, cool. Any other comments, questions, suggestions? Ladies, ladies. <laughs> Um, it occurs to me that I didn't point out any common errors. So we'll do this just a minute more. Um, common errors, not getting this toe in enough. So if this toe gets just even to the front of the room, the next part's a lot harder and probably will end up not quite pointing in the right direction. Like it'll point a little to the left instead of 180. Um, that's okay. Like, like other Tai Chi moves, if you find yourself unable to get it in all the way, do the rest of it and then kind of cheat it to where you need it to be and then finish the move with at least the correct footwork underneath. Does that make sense? All right, and then other common mistakes probably um, number one would be wanting to hit that foot and then reaching forward to get it and then throwing your whole posture out of that. Not even that bad, really, but but even just a little bit loses the tuck and kind of takes away the correct alignment of the kick. So keep your head suspended above all, keep your tuck, and then if it only goes like this, no big deal. It's okay. Oh, and yeah, and I guess confusion on the hands afterwards. Don't reach with the right, it's with the left. Right foot, left hand. And the arms are just here before you go into the next part. They don't, they're not really doing anything there, they're just kind of not going anywhere else. <clears throat> Does that make sense? Yes. Questions on that? Yes, sir. Uh, as you set the right foot down, placement, please. Ah, good, so not quite that far, but that's the right idea. So, um, after I kick, what's that? Being really in front of your placement, it's almost like a playing guitar or something. Oh, that's a good analogy, yeah. That's just pretty close, yeah. So, and then if I was to like feel through it, yeah, good, thank you, sir. And if I was to feel through it, I would say, not so far that I feel my center going off, mm -hmm. right? It's gonna be a little different version of your step test where I'm just gonna kind of put it down, knowing that it goes here and then I shift and my hips go here next before I step to my double dragon. It's gonna be my okay, so it's more to the side, not to the front, like here. Out a little bit more. Um, that's okay. Yeah. So I think I think it has the appearance of being farther out Sorry. because as soon as I touch, then my toes turn, right? So then once I get into it, it seems like I went out farther than when I just touched. Mm -hmm. it. Here's a, I imagine sort that's of a illusion thing. Yeah. yeah. Really, if you can keep your center and then start to put it kind of out to where you know it's going to go, that's okay. That's a little closer to where you have it. Yeah. yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Just trying to figure out the. Proper placement as that's it goes good. down. That's good. That's correct. Yeah. And you'll see, sometimes you'll see people do it a little farther out. It's not the biggest deal in the world. I don't. I don't worry about it too much. But but it'll just have this look of kind of falling yeah, off. I'm trying to get my legs that straight and doing that little tap. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make yeah, sense? That lady right there. Yeah, she can do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's practice in just a second. We should, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do anything with that. But let's practice it. Okay. Maybe I'll stand around too long. I'm sorry for that. So go ahead and just try to do cross form kick on your own. If you're watching at home, you have lots of people to copy. Um, just for, say, two minutes. So I'll let you practice without watching in person, and I'll come over and do this. And yeah, if you want to go through a bunch of tutorials, this probably makes more sense than stopping if you know how. started doing the crescent kicks, I was landing out here and dropping into it. Yeah. One more. 
work fine all together. I've seen everyone's individually and things are looking good. Let's just see it. Uh, yeah, two more times together. I know y'all were like trying to catch up with each other, so reset. Oh. <laughs> and nice and slow and begin. Y'all, some of y'all are doing punch to growing, but some of us, some of us want to hear about it too. So I bet at home probably wants to hear about it as well. So let's. Um, I guess it'd be easier probably just to do the moves one more time. So when we get to the end, we'll start instructing through punch to growing together. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it together, and then I'll let you watch. So begin your cross form kick. No instruction here this time. Now set your heel down. Turn your toes. Shift your weight to your right, release your left heel, and feel the arms twist to the right, the right hand forming a fist. Step in if you want, step to double dragons. Shift to your left, brush by the knee with the left hand, and punch to your, basically your own groin level with the right hand. You can imagine taller or shorter opponents, but in general, you know, in Tai Chi, we just imagine the same height opponent. Let's do that just from the kick so we don't have to keep going through the kick. So let's find a good starting position. Turn your left toes out 45-ish degrees. Set your right foot down kind of a little in front of it. Drape your left hand over your right. And we'll just do the kick and the thing after. Lift the knee, kick. Set the heel down, turn the toes, shift the weight to the right, release the left heel. Wind up the arms on the right side, step to your double dragons. Shift to your left, brush by the knee, punch to groin. And it's that same vertical fist. Hamstrings. <laughs> and I got sore hamstrings from working out. Yeah. on your own, at your own pace. So after the kick, I guess I'm putting my foot down like already angled. Mm. Are you supposed to put it forward mm. and then angle it? That's a good question. Can you put it down already angled without breaking it? Let's see. I don't know if that's an artifact of instruction or. Yeah, you know, actually, I would, I would go ahead and put it down forward because if I start to do this, well, you might, you might have the flexibility for this not to happen. But um, as I start to do this, I feel it turn the, my support leg just a little bit mm -hmm. and turn my knee in just slightly. So if I was to be really specific, I would say if it doesn't do that, it's okay. Right? Um, 
instructionally, I would, I would have the whole body just still facing here while they went down, and then we're going to start the turning. Um, but no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call that an error, as long as it doesn't pull the rest of it off first. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because, if it, and I guess to go further, if you did, it's the whole, it's the whole, you'd hear that thing over and over again where we, we establish our root and then we're able to turn on that root, mm -hmm. right? So here, if, if I'm already starting to turn my body, then it's more simultaneous and less connected in the Tai Chi way. But as long as it goes before the body, you're okay. Does that make sense still? Or is that mm -hmm. more? Okay. Good question. Any others? I thought there was maybe another one on that. make sure we, everyone feels comfortable combining those two. We kind of work them separate. So let's do from piercing palm through punch to groin a couple more times. I'm going to come on this side just to give everyone different views of it. And begin cross form kick. Brush knee punch to groin. exactly how you're looking at it, why don't you watch it one more time, and then just maybe, um, I have a feeling I may give you an answer that doesn't ring true to what you're asking, so let's see. Okay. So, I guess it seems like my hip is right, lined up with that toe that's turned mm -hmm. out, right? And then I'm going to shift and basically line up with the other toe that's turned forward. Does that make sense? Does that yeah. answer your question, at least? Yeah, I was going to just head a bit too far. So um, to be maybe more specific, um, not enough, too much, <laughs> <It's> not, <laughs> <laughs> too much, uh, just right. I don't know. Does that make sense? <clears throat> well, why don't you try a couple more times, and I'll, I'll take a look at that. Sorry, I know you. I know I said those last time. Do it once more. <laughs> I'll make sure everyone's got their weights turned right there. And begin. Let's go, uh, let's go from the punch break, and we'll just go through until we hit something novel for this section, because we have some repeats first. Uh, we've got another grasp first tail, so we're going to shift back, turn, form that circle with the left hand on top, shift to your left, release the right heel, step to your double dragon to the opposite, spread to the forward, shoot to the right, turn to the right, forward, off front. And this is, of course, not novel, because it's familiar, pull back first. sequence of possible challenge where you might say, is there another cloud hands? Is there? No. No, I know, that's the challenge. This is the this is the no, one where it goes Pai Pai through. Is before Pai yeah, yeah, exactly. Before Pai Pai and I just went through that same thing in my head, just so you know. Okay, yeah, so here's the snake freak step. Which is challenging but also not novel. We've had it in this section already, right? Seven stars. 
Did you guys get to step up seven stars? Oh yeah. I felt like I saw y'all doing that when I came in. Did you do step back, ride the tiger to the mountain? I believe so. Yes. Yes. Yeah, didn't you? One act of All right, uh, sweet lotus. You didn't do sweet lotus, good. You don't want to do that in the same class that you're doing cross. <laughs> okay. It's too it's too alike. <laughs> okay. So let's go. Um, Planning to do this, but let's do this. Let's instruct through step up seven stars to the uh, step back, ride the tiger to the mountain a couple times. So, uh -oh, let's go. From our snake creeps down. So, coming out of this snake creeps down is different than your first one. If you recall the first one, don't copy this, you would turn your toes out, shift your weight, and lift your knee without really pushing off, right? This one's different. This one, we are actually going to. Push off from the back and bring the right hand up. And it'll come up sort of outside to come up in front of the other arm. And it's, if, our, if our hands were open, the palms would face out with their fists. And y'all are crossing in the correct place. You don't want to be right at the wrist. You don't want to be at the elbows. It's kind of right in the middle. If you think of protecting, um, like maybe maybe some sort of like karate style block, like I'm coming down and you're going to block me with both hands like that. Right. Something like that. Does that make sense? Do that again, snake creeps down. You start from this part of it. And you're going to push off, touch with the ball of the foot, bring the right hand up. And on this one, you're going to have the feeling of the right knee turning in slightly, as if to protect your own groin. So the idea of groin protection here is I don't want to be open, so I have this idea of the right knee turned in just slightly. Yeah. Like someone were going to kick you. That's actually the next application if someone does try to kick you. Mm. It's basically straightforward. It feels so awkward. It does. It feels weird. Yeah, it'll feel weird. And I cannot ask that every time I should do that. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's different. It's not a it's not a foot placement you have in this form yet, which will make it feel weird. Right? Yeah. And you're only there a moment. Uh-huh. Good. Good. One more time together. Sorry, I'm not on camera, just copy so you can see. Come up. And it, part of it is sitting enough in that left leg where it feels more like a cat stance and less like more like your foot, like you're kind of white brain kind of thing. Mm. And let's do one more. Step back with the right foot. Shift back and lower the arms in front of you like you're blocking that imaginary groin kick. Turn to the right and let the right hand circle back. Turn to the left and chop. And the left hand with the knee down. Do all that a couple more times. Okay. And step up, seven stars. Step back, shift back, lower the arms. Turn to your right. And you can imagine that left hand hooking the foot here, and then turn to your left. to keep it oriented the same way, so hopefully you can see what you need to yeah. Questions, comments, suggestions? Can you step it back at the same time to bring your hands down, or step back first? In between the Ah, so give it power, to give it connection. We're gonna step back and sit back, and right after we sit back, that momentum continues into a block downward. Don't copy what my left foot did, so we'll step but back gonna come down around. Yeah. yeah, so if I yeah, if I broke it down, toe, heel, shift, fold, turn, turn. Does that make sense? Yes. Excellent. Any other questions? Yes, sir. I didn't know if you were doing the move for a second. No, no, no. Uh, 
Left hand down, right hand up. Ah, hand is yeah. So that's the one piece I keep forgetting. Yeah. Um, boom. But see, instead of that first, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Set that shift back to come down. But you know, it's going to go all in a row. Um, and then the arms, what you don't want is you don't want to get kicked in this fleshy soft part here or on this side part here. You're going to turn so you get kicked in the back, back of your forearm, right? So the way you're going to do that is by turning the right palm up and the left palm. Is that what you asked? Mm -hmm. You had it backwards? Is that yes. Okay, got it. Yeah. So, um, well, um, yeah. you too? <laughs> oh, no. That's okay. We'll get it. So the application helps this correction because the left hand is the one at the top of the hook. Hook that foot. So maybe that'll help you remember. Yeah, because yeah. you know, yeah, really it's hard, but sorry, it's hard to see sometimes. Turn around and turn. No, around. I keep turning the right hand on. Well, let's uh, try it on your own. I'll look for all the correct spots. Right down. What's that? Right hand left down. Left palm down, right palm. Oh. Yeah. But it's weird because yeah, they're, when you're looking at them, the right's on the left and the left's on the right. So it's, <laughs> so it's just the right hand that rotates. Yeah, that would be a good way to think of it. They, well, really, they both rotate, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, there you are. You come down. Right palm turns up, left palm. You just go there. Ah. Yeah. Rotating to the back. Yeah. So you go from this to this? Mm. Yes, correct. Well, from this. From this to this. Yes. Right. All right. Yeah. What you really need is me coming around kicking at your drawings, so you have to do it automatically. <laughs> and then you don't have time to think about it as much. Why are you, is it to block? Or yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that's, that's what okay. I was trying to say. So, so this kick's coming in, and what you're doing is you're using the outside of your right forearm to take most of the impact. Okay. And then you're immediately hooking with your left. So you're oh, right okay. Up to your so top. you're blocking, then grabbing somebody's leg and throwing them, basically. Well, you could throw them. You're chopping them, and then but they're all balanced. Okay. You can toss them right away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Does that make just, sense? Do, do I need yeah. to come pretend kick you? I'm Incapacitate really run, essentially. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I'm gonna go around this time. So. <laughs> <a> problem. <laughs> I keep flipping it over. Maybe that's where you can just like repeat the first part of it over and over again until <laughs> just so stand you can there. try it like this. Take your right arm, have it up here, and then go ahead and step like you're already there, and then feel your weight shift back and just walk down with the outside. Yeah. Is it like rolling dice or something? I don't know. Let me think of something. You can do your left hand separate. That's probably more confusing now that I tried that. Especially when they're on the wrong, then they're on the other side. Yeah. Right. That's my yeah. big issue is the hands on the other direction. <laughs> well, what you're doing earlier was correct. It was just, just to make sure this thing is Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not going to kick you in the wrong. I'm going to come around with a soccer thing and pretend to hit you. Or maybe it's the stick. Where's the soft thing go? It fits with it, and we're up there with the camera. Yeah, oh, it's okay. Yeah. This is the, the ground. I'm hiding them. So Bring it the all the <laughs> I'm like, is this here to help hold the camera up? I don't know. Turn this handle. So, oh, and then you'll get out the beat stick. Okay. Uh, hit with your right. Because the right will be on the outside. I'm going to flip it so it's the outside. There it is. Sorry. There it is. Step back. Okay. Okay. Yep, and you're ready to hook it. Too. So is it key? Is that still like you're blocking and hooking? Is the leg going? What's that? Is the leg going off? off the other My leg is probably going over there. No, no, the kicking leg. No, no keep, keep going. I'll just. Uh huh. I'll just yeah, so I'm going to kick you, and basically you're going to hook my foot and have me here while I'm going. Yeah. 
game? Yep. That's it. Anyone, Anyone else want to have the swung at this? No. No, you're good. I can <laughs> <laughs> Anyone? You take this, I won't force it on Oh no, okay, bring it down. So, nice and slow. Just that. Just that right there. There it is. Yeah, exactly. And this is the one that's going to hook it. Yep. All the other ones hung around. Jump. Oh, okay. Yeah. I saw your other one. Yeah, you got it. It just looks, because it's not a foot. It's not a foot. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thank goodness. Turn her hand over. <laughs> Grab. Pop. But you're blocking the same foot and black. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. One hand takes most of the impact, the other doesn't. Mm -hmm. You got it. Yeah, yeah. anyone else around for the block? Good. That pop. Well, yeah. just now when you weren't thinking about it, it just happened. That was like, okay. very good. Oh, well, don't think about it. <laughs> so, yeah, and I just walked off. Don't think about it. About it. Don't, don't think about it. it. <laughs> <laughs> just don't think, period. Just do the move. Yeah. So. Right now, you just do it. Any last questions, Calvin? No, sir. So, if you're keeping track, if you're keeping track, I'm just going to show you fast. Um, well, here, back here. This guy, we've got the punch to groin, we've got the dip, 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 we've got the snake, we've got the step up, we've got the chop. Now, all we have left is, left is sweep the lotus, then bow shoot the tiger, hit the hand punch, with drop push, and uh, form. So, you're very close. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, no surprise if you've been playing the sequence for a while, like once they all have. So. Okay. There's um, always a surprise. It was? <laughs> there's, there's always a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might not notice, but there is a surprise. There is always that next level of the onion, right? The next, mm -hmm. the next layer in. For Master Goring's joke was Tai Chi's like an onion, not only because it can make you cry sometimes, but because it's layered like an onion. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I can't claim credit. <laughs> Life skills. If you're doing a creative spirit, yes, sir. Path of self mastery requires a creative spirit. A creative spirit has no self doubt. The path of self mastery requires a creative spirit. A creative spirit has no self doubt. Path of self mastery requires a creative spirit. A creative spirit has no self doubt. Thank you, Mayor. Now, advanced students, intermediate students, anyone else watching, my class training is very good.